Welcome in 11 episode. Today we will continue implementing our touch input and interaction with our board. So as you remember in the last episode we have implemented the behavior so we can grab one square and then drag it down and highlight multiple square at once. When we release the mouse everything is just going back to normal. But there is a few issue like you can select multiple squares which are not necessarily on the same line. So today we're going to concentrate to actually fix this issue. So uh, just uh, a bit of theory, I will show you how we're going to solve it. So every time you select the square, we're going to fire up, let's say we select this K, we're going to fire up six rays. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight is actually this ray should be here. It's going to be actually eight rays. So as you see, we're going to fire a ray in each direction. And then once you move mouse or your finger up, that's mean we're going to stick with, with this ray. And we're going to move along this ray. So we're going to be able to select only the letters which are on this ray. Okay? So you won't be able to select any, of, any letter which are on the side or anywhere else. Just the ones which are which are lying on the, right, on the right. So this is how we're going to solve it. So let's uh, now dive into the code. So we're going to stop this project and then let's open the project, go to the scripts and open the word checker. So inside the word checker class, we will need a few more variables. So right at the top of the class, I will first of all add the private int Assigned points to be equal to zero. Then private int completed words equal to zero. Then we want to uh, store our arrays. So private ray and it's going to be ray up ray up and then write down, okay? Then let me duplicate this. So next one will be ray left and then ray right. Let me duplicate this. So the next one will be ray diagonal left up and then ray diagonal left down okay let me duplicate this one again and then ray diagonal right up so that's gonna now gonna be for the right side and i think we have eight rays so two four six eight so that's it what we need Okay, so we have our rays. Then another variable which we will need is the points. So private vector three ray start position, and then one more variable which would be private list of int. Correct square list will be equal to new list of ints. Okay, so that's all variable that's all variables we will need. So let's now go to the start method. And then first of all, let's assign our assigned points to be equal to zero. And then completed word will be equal to zero. Okay, so we're just gonna make sure those two variables are zeros. Okay, so now let's create a function, the private function, to select our array. So I will scroll, scroll right at the bottom, below the check word. I will create the private array. So we're going to return the correct array and then select, select array. Okay, and then we want to pass the vector to. first position 
and then vector to second position. So as I explained to you in the in the Unity right at the beginning of this video, we're gonna first of all select the first square, which is gonna be the first position, and then we're gonna select the second square. And based on this second square selection, we're gonna pick the correct ray which we're gonna move along. So this is uh, why we will need to pass the second position here, and this function will just return the right ray based on our selection. So let's first of all get the direction. So var direction will be equal to, let's open the braces, second position minus first position dot normalized. Okay? So we just want to have a normalized direction, which will be 1 or minus 1. So we will know if we're going to go up or down. And then float tolerance will be equal to 0.01 f. Okay, so now let's select the correct ray. So first of all, let's put the f statement. So if the mat dot abs and then we want to pass the direction dot x is less than the tolerance and mat dot abs direction dot y minus 1f is less than the tolerance. So if this is the case, we're going to return the ray up. Ray up. Okay. The ne next f statement. So I will just duplicate this f statement. So now if direction dot x is less than the tolerance and then direction dot, dot y minus and then let's put this another brace minus one is less than the tolerance. We want to return the ray down. Okay. So now let's me duplicate this line, move it down. If the direction dot x minus Let's open brace, minus 1f is less than the tolerance, and then direction dot y, let's remove this minus 1f, is less than the tolerance, we want to return ray left. Okay, let's duplicate this line again. So now, if the direction dot x minus 1f and the direction dot y, we're going to return the ray right. Let me duplicate this again. Okay, so now if the direction dot x, we're going to remove this mat f. So if the direction dot f uh, dot x is less than 0f, And direction dot y is more than zero f. We're gonna return the ray diagonal left up. Okay, make sure you re you return the correct ray. Then if the direction dot x is less than the zero f and direction dot y is less than the zero f so make sure you put less not more we're gonna return the ray diagonal left down okay and now we need to just return the right rays so if the direction dot x is more than the zero f and direction dot y is more than 0 f so this is going to be return ray diagonal right up and then last one if the 
direction.x is more zero than 0f zero and direction.y is less than 0f, we're going to return the ray diagonal right down. Okay, so I think we have all of the rays from this uh, from this function returned, and then otherwise return we're gonna return ray down. Okay, so as you see, our function is completed now. So make sure you have all of the values right, and now let's create another function to actually check if our selected square is on the ray. So right at the top of this function, I will create another function, which will be private, bool is point on the ray. Is point on the ray, and then we're gonna pass the ray, current ray, and then vector three, point. Okay? And then we're gonna create the variable var hits is equal to physics dot raycast all and we wanna put the current ray and then let's say we're gonna create the ray of the length of the hundred F. Okay? And now let's loop through all of the hits. So for int i is equal to zero, i is less than the hits dot length, i plus plus. We want to check if the hits at i dot transform dot position is equal to point so make sure you put double equal sign so if the if the hit position is equal to our point so that means this square is lying on the on the ray so we're gonna return true and then otherwise outside of this for loop, return false, okay? So this is function we needed, and now let's move up to our selected square function. So in our selected square function, we're gonna actually create our arrays, and we wanna check how many points are assigned. So let's write at the top, let's put the f statement, so if, the assigned points is equal to zero. So we're gonna assign our rest ray start position. So that means the selected square which we, which we pass to this function, the selected square position, is the position of the first selected square. So ray start square, ray start position is equal to square position. Then correct square list dot at square index okay so we want to store the index of the square then we want to increase our word so word plus equal letter so we want to add another letter to our word and then let's create some rays so first one let's create the ray up ray up is equal to new ray and then we want to pass the new the vector 2 and then square square position dot x square position dot y and then we need to pass the length of the square so we need to create another new vector 2 and we want to pass the 0f and then 1. Okay, so this is our ray up. We need to do the same 
for the ray down. So I will just duplicate this line of code. Let's replace this ray up with ray down. Ray down. So everything stays the same. We just need to change the direction of this ray. So we want to move it, change this one to minus one. Okay, so make sure you have minus one here. And then I'm going to duplicate this line of code again, and then ray left. So that's going to be our ray left. And then again, we want to change just the direction. So I will just replace this minus one with zero F. And then on the X, we need to have minus one. Okay, so we're going to move to the left. So the next one will be ray right. So again, we need to replace this minus one with one. Okay, so now we'll be ray diagonal left up. So we want to pass this minus one and then one. Okay, let's duplicate it. Ray diagonal left down. So we want to just make this one to be minus one. Then Ray diagonal right up. So for the right, we will move one, one. So we will move to the top. Ray diagonal right down. Okay. So the right down will be just to change this one to minus one. Okay. So we have eight rays, just double check if there are eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and and eight, which is correct. So now, so this this what is gonna happen if the selected square is the first square which we selected. So if it's not the first one, so else, if the assigned points is equal to one. So if this is the second selected square, we want to select the correct ray which we're going to move along. So first one, we want to pass this correct square list dot add, and we want to pass the square index. Then we want to do the current ray, current ray. Okay, we didn't create a variable for the current ray yet. So before we continue, let's copy this name. Let's move at the top. And then below this ray diagonal up and down, I will just put this private ray. And this is going to be our current ray. And make sure you put the new ray. Okay? So you need to initialize it. Just call the constructor. So once you've done this, let's scroll down to our square selected function. And then our current ray will be equal to select ray. Okay, I just made a spelling mistake in this name. So let me just rename it. So it's going to be select ray. Select ray. Okay. So select ray. And we want to pass our first, first point, which is going to be ray start position. And, the, and then the second point, which is going to be our square position. Okay. So this function will select the correct ray, which we're going to move along. Then we want to call our game event select square method. So I will just cut it and put, paste it here. And then we want to do the words. So we want to just get these two lines as well. And then we want to paste it here. Okay, so we want to add the letter to the word and then call the check word function. Okay, so this is what's happened if the selected if this is the second square, and then if it's any square after, so else we want to check if this is point on the ray. So if the following square is currently lying on the ray which we selected from here, so if it is, so current current ray and then square position. So we want to pass the ray and then position. So if it is, then we want to do the correct square list dot add square index. 
then you want to call the game events dot select square method square position and then we want to do the word plus equal letter and then we want to call the check word function okay and then right after this after all of this f statements we want to put the assigned points plus plus okay so we're going to increase the assigned points so this is our function selected square now let's uh, move to our update function and inside the update function we're just going to add some debug debug stuff so in the update function i will put if the assigned points is more than zero so if we have some some points already selected and application dot is editor so if we're playing in the editor we want to do the debug dot draw ray, ray and then we want to put the ray up so basically we want to draw every single ray which we created dot origin ray up dot direction times four okay so it doesn't matter what number you put here we just you just need to select the number how long the ray will be so i will just duplicate this line of code a few times and then let's replace so ray up now we want to do the ray down ray down ray down here and ray down here then ray left ray left okay ray right then ray diagonal left up okay make sure you will apply in two places then ray diagonal left down then ray diagonal right up and then let's duplicate one more time and then ray diagonal right down okay make sure you have every single ray so we should have eight line one two three four five six seven eight so that's it okay and i think i think that's pretty much it for what we have to do let me just double check actually there is one more thing which we want to add so in our private on enable let's call the game events dot clear square selection clear selection will be equal to plus equal and then i will call it clear selection okay and then let's copy this line of code and put it in the disable and then unsubscribe from this event so put the minus and now we need to create this function so i will just scroll right at the bottom and then let's put the private void clear selection and th this function is going to be simple we're going to do the assigned points is equal to zero then correct square list dot clear and then word will be equal to string dot empty okay so we want to just clear everything up okay and as you see we have an error here because we shouldn't let's move it to our class clear selection we should assign ourselves to on clear selection okay so let's just replace it go back to our word checker and instead of uh, calling clear selection let's let's put on clear selection and on clear selection okay let's save everything now let's switch back to unity and let's see what we have so i will just move this um, this game to be on the bottom 
here so we can see everything okay and now let's press play and now when you select the square let's say w as you see we have the rays created so we have six rays uh, sorry eight rays and we can move along any of the ray so if we go up we selecting the the top ray so the ray up so if you try to move your mouse anywhere else you cannot really select any other letter okay so if you go on the diagonal okay i think this is too small to go on the diagonal so let's just move this one let's just start it again and i will just make it uh, full screen so now when you select the x you can go you can go down you can go left you can go right you can go up and you can go on the diagonal as well but as you see it's currently very hard to actually go on the diagonal because there is no enough gap between those squares so we're gonna fix this in the next episode but as you see we can go on the diagonal because we can select this k and we can select this e so that's it for today's episode as you see we, there is no more errors where you can select multiple squares so if you like this episode please consider subscribing to this channel it will help a lot and leave the like below this video if you have any issue with the implementation please go again through this video and if you still have a problem let me know in the comments and i will try to help you out so thanks for watching and i will see you again in the next episode